pay slap. LSEM will lead the field around the track. You know, the car's getting heat in their tires. Five GS cars here at Sebring. Pay speed will be at 60, 65 miles an hour. TCR field is now moving. It will be a side-by-side -side start. Uh, and try not to do any passing before the start-finish line uh, like they do as in, re in real life. Real Z's. Welcome to the Paddock Sim Racing Michelin Pilot Challenge Series. This is round two at Sebring. Got five GS cars and a whole gaggle of TCR cars. The pace between the two classes are very similar. As on the warm up lap here, as you see, stripes kind of hit the grass and get a little sideways, trying to get heat in them tires as they go around the track. To the green flag. GS right now you have LSEM, LSEM stripes followed by CPS Diablo eh. and then you got Killjoy, GTR Merginator and Championship 4 leading out the GS field. On pole for TCR you have R2P Volcano who threw out a blistering qualifying lap right behind him in second on track and TCR is Mr. Watts followed by Big Bo and Trickster following them, all the TCR guys running quick laps, very close laps uh, throughout practices and qualifying as they're heading down towards turn 16. Uh, the GS cars towards 16 down to the front lap. As they start to do their double up procedure for the start of this race. Here, some of the GS cars. Absolutely nowhere. TCR. Let me know when you're uh, halfway through turn 17. This is the actual race. Oh, I, you're right. I forgot to change that. Oh, it says three laps. Uh, because of the time duration. Alright, this is for you GS cars. You guys have the green flag. Green, 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 green. On board here with the GS class as they head underneath the Michelin Bridge and they go three wide across the line with M stripes across the line first. No passing before the stripes. All right, TCR, green, 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 green. You guys are green as well. A little bit of a late start for TCR. Come back on board with some of the TCR cars here. As they all head through turn one is the whole herd of them. Oh, a little bit of sideways there in the Chevy Cruze of what looked like to be smokes there. Looks like he got it all put back together. A little bit of ground loss there, but everybody looks to be pointing in the right direction and under power. Er, that wasn't smokes, that was uh, the sister car of country, Welder. A little bit of bumping and rubbing going on as cars are trying to get that track advantage on the cold tires. Whole herd of Chevy Cruises there in mid-pack. That little battle there unfolds as TCR starts to spread out. We'll jump up front with uh, the GS cars here. Stripes out with a 
few car lengths of a lead out in front of Killjoy. He made his way around Diablo. Championship making a, a few positions under the start. A questionable start as he uh, went around a couple cars across the line. turn 17 to finish their uh, first flying lap as LSEM Stripes makes a big uh, big lead there. A little bit of bumping and rubbing between Championship and Killjoy in the McLaren and the Mustang. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Looks like we got a uh, turn 17 incident there as they uh, were collects the wall cars getting collected as well. That is a full course yellow. Uh, now getting put back in the right order on track and pointing in the right direction. They are slow through uh, turn six into seven the hairpin. Our field catches up with the GS class. Now uh, this is going to be interesting because the TCR cars are much better on restarts than the GS cars. short yellow so there will be no open pits everybody should still be fresh to go cosmetic turned off there should be no damages as well everyone's collected a couple stragglers there in the back of the field they're catching up they should catch up by the time the rest of the field comes around towards the back straight First yellow so far of the race. The incident in turn 17. A couple cars collected in the outside wall. TCR really pushing hard. Let me know when you guys are uh, leaving turn 17. Line of cars we have here. And we are a full course. Green, 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 green. As we'll see here how the, the field fares with the GS cars. They have a little bit more power, but them TCR cars, they are great into the corners, as well as bigger brakes. Looks like the TCR gives GS a little bit of room on that start, allowing the GS cars to use that power advantage. Heavy into brakes into turn three, side by side the GS cars with the stripes out in front, all by his lonesome. Now here's where the TCR cars are actually going to take the advantage away as Diablo goes a little wide, allowing uh, what look like Killjoy to make his way through. Stripes gets away just a little bit from the rest of the field as the GS car is heavy braking into the hairpin. All still together, nose to tail. 
from what is pretty much second place all the way down to what is 15th, 13th place. Side by side is Killjoy Championship going to turn 10. Virginator looking to the inside and then the inside again to try and find a way through. And still side by side with the McLaren and the Ford. Heavy into brakes into 13, water tower turn. Okino takes his uh, first and TCR position back from Watts. Watts close in tail, followed by Bo. Trickster in the pack as well as Nighthawk, just car lengths behind him, smokes on his tail. Got Gilsinger, Werb, and Type, as well as Welder, all in the fight for those positions there in the back of TCR as they go too wide down the back straight. In the front of TCR. Turn 17. Looks like Diablo got a little bit of a gap between them. Uh, between the third and back in GS. He's now running down stripes. Now, last weekend we had our ALMS race at Daytona. Both stripes and CPS Diablo both running the BMWs. They hooked up together and went around the track, running down the rest of the field once they got together. If they had a little more time, they could have done a little bit more damage. The uh, first place went to Bat Ferrari in GT. Great battles going on in TCR. It's still a four-way battle for the top spot between what is Bo Watts, Volcano, and Trickster. Four Watt, two, two rows of, of two wide through the hairpin. Great battle. Trickster looking to the inside into turn 10 as Bo takes the top spot in TCR for the moment. Watts literally glued to his bumper as they go through the double left-hander into 13. Bo with that navy, uh, navy livery for the Sebring weekend. Kind of pinching down on the cars behind him, trying to run that individual line. Oh, Killjoy Championship is getting him a little wide, sending him wide through turn 16 into the grass as the TCR field gets around him. It is going to be tough to make his way through that TCR field. It takes a long time for that Ford to get in a good rhythm. But it can be done. Sections of the track where the power can be put down. that Ford in practice. It's got some hustle, but the slower corners, those TCR cars are all over you. Like honey. It's kind of hard to get away from them. Go back in the back of TCR a little bit here and see some of the other battles going on. Great battle here between what is uh, Smokes and Nighthawk. 10th and 11th overall. Oh, and Werb and Type get into each other, heading into turn three. We're collecting it. Got a lot of race left. GS cars are now quite spread out.
Jack's cars are now quite spread out. As Killjoy now leading his way back through this badness of what is the top of TCR. The battle for first through fourth in TCR is quite nuts. Let's see if he can get a good run out of 16 to put the power down to get around this two wide battle which has been going on since turn one of the lap. He gets around him but he's got to have a good line into turn 17 to approve the advantage. Oh, he's getting, they both go a little wide as the TCR cars go through the inside. Got the run out of 17, going side by side. Yellow, yellow, yellow. As what is, uh, what is a few cars coming out of 17, 17 proving to be a little bit of a nightmare for some of these cars. It look, looks like it's Welder and Type both get into the wall, or into each other and into the wall there. Coming out of 17. Slow into the hairpin, the whole field. Catching up to the rest of them. The amount of, amount of pace that these cars have, the advantage of long racing will prevail as long as we can get some good green time. Green flag running. And it'll start to really spread out from each other. While we're uh, under caution here. Caution number two of the race. What's the time? This time by, all the field is single file for a restart. Field is green, 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 green. Should be a little bit better of a restart time as the whole field now get under power. Across the line, the GS cars thundering away from the TCR field here as the Killjoy trying to make up as much ground as possible using the V8. side of uh, the 75 McLaren heading into the hairpin. Move. He's going to have to either late break or early break to try and do an over under. Stays on the outside of the McLaren as they uh, funnel in as the TCR field. Oh, 
as uh, Killjoy the Mustang is getting along alongside the TCR of Watts. A little bumping and rubbing going on there. McLaren of Championship stays ahead of Virginator, but only for now. It's a little further back, you have Killjoy in seventh overall, but battle going on here with uh, Welder and Type again. Through uh, turns 14, 15 here. By size, they hit into 16. Nighthawk close on their tail. Buzz of the little four bangers go down the back straight. Little beans. That's fine. Killjoy, it looks like he's bullying Watts a little bit back there. TCR cars take advantage of the GS through the small section, the slow section. Killjoy and Virginator now alongside each other, heading into that hairpin. TCR cars on either side. Trickster getting a little bump from the Mustang. He's on the outside of the Mustang with Trickster right on his bumper. Oh. Killjoy makes a little mistake, tapping Watts as he comes by. It's not that the Mustang's slow, it's just that the TCR cars are a little too fast. Make some adjustments for the remainder of the season for the cars. Forza not giving us the GT4 race cars we have to do with production cars which does not balance out pretty well or very well with Forza. Two 
caution so far of this race within the first half an hour of the race. Looking to be a quite interesting race indeed. As Bo is hot in pursuit of that top spot of TCR. positions back. GS cars really need rhythm in order for them to have that space, that speed. The agility of those TCR cars just make it so difficult. sights on the top two TCR cars as they head into 17. Oh, Killjoy getting a little squirrely into 17. Big heavy bodied Mustang as he drifts out on the exit. That's going to lose some speed. The TCR cars might have a little bit of an advantage on him there. Big power of that Mustang pulls through as Merginator takes the inside line and gets away with the pass for fourth in class. Breaking into three. These are hot on their heels. Uh, that's yellow, 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 yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Of course, yellow. What's the time? Uh, pit lane. 
lane is uh, from the 1 hour 15 to the 1 hour mark, so you got 15 minutes until pits are open. What was that? Yeah, Diablo uh, had to uh, retire his uh, pedals shrapnel. Yeah, yellow. You guys are full course yellow. Alright, Ren is slow coming out of turn five. I mean, it's as if it were a real world incident. Yeah, if you made a pass after the uh, the incident, uh, uh, that position is relinquished to the driver. So, uh, yeah. So who was that? Was that? Yeah, Trickster. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good. And then, yeah, that was it. All right. So you guys will be green this time by. Yeah, 115 to the hour mark is your pit window. Thirty till the end. That is your second pit window. This time by. Sunset bend, but obviously it's morning. The sun is behind them. Alright. Bridge. And the whole course green flag. Green, 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 green. Drivers are underway as they head underneath the Michelin Bridge. The view shoots out for Behind the TCR cars, putting that BMW power down. Trying to get back that overall position on track. Now into the top three, right behind Championship Four. Heading into turns two and three, heavy under braking. Now this is where the TCR field starts to catch the GS field. If they play nice, they can get out of each other's hair, at least for the first opening half of this lap. It looks like they do as the GS cars now put the power down towards the hairpin. Uh, Killjoy running through the pack, heavy onto the brakes into the hairpin, now up into ninth place after the spill with CPS Diablo. Had to retire due to mechanical issues and his pedals broke. Well, had great pace. Hate to see that. Around lots. Power down now. Eighth place, making some. Great 
around quickly. And bust as Watts goes around the outside with that mechanical grip. Stay close to the TCR cars through the twisty bits with the power down on them long straights. It's R2. Volcano and Bo go back and forth once again. Right. Stripes in the championship. Making the great use of the power of their cars to clear away from the TCRs as Killjoy slides into 17, hunting down Watts in this Honda TCR car. Great nose to tail battle between the TCR cars as they head through one. Bo now back a few positions behind Volcano. Trickster, who is now up in first place, got a great run on Volcano there. Bo pushing Volcano down the mid straight towards the hairpin. coming out of the hairpin is a sight to see. I just love that uh, the time, uh, the tick bar on the top just said laps, and it was 554,000, like 790 something laps. I don't know what exactly that means, but I'll allow it, I guess. turn there. Spill there. 
of smokes there in turn 15. Lost a lot of ground, now we're hot on his heels. It's Champ now by Stripes. McLaren now overall lead on track with Stripes hot on the bumper of that McLaren. They head through one. McLaren using all of the track and then some. There's quite a few side-by-side -side battles going on at the moment. GS in front of TCR and the back of TCR as well as that mid battle there. Oh, his kill singer locks up, goes a little wide, right into uh, Welder and the, and the Honda. His Nighthawk goes in the inside of Welder, getting a little bump and rubbing going on. His two cars go wide out of five and six. Into the hairpin. Nighthawk looking to the inside as Gilsinger goes out wide. As Nighthawk makes the pass on the Honda. Jump to the front of TCR to watch even more action going on. As Bo looking to the inside of Trickster. Bo going wide. He's still maintaining a little bit of speed. GS car is really starting to pull away from uh, the battle there of TCR as Killjoy in a little bit incident fell back to the back of the pack kind of held his own now he can really start picking his way through the TCR field catch Burgeonator who is right up the track from him then we get to uh, 17 TCR leaders, Trickster still out front. As Bo do a little bit of rubbing as he goes up the inside. Now Bo up into the lead overall TCR. Leader in class as Trickster goes a little bit wide, leaving the door open for Volcano. He does not make the pass. Falls in as Watts taking all of the track and then some through the grass. Oh, heavy braking as Volcano does a steep dive bomb, pushing. Oh, the Volcano comes back across. Or Bo comes back across the track through the grass. Kind of bumps Volcano there a little bit off track. As now Killjoy in the GS car is now caught up in this battle for the top spot. Door-to-door -door action is crazy right now. I would not be surprised if we saw another yellow at any point. GS car with all the power, trying to get out of the corner, put that power down, around this battle to a safe zone. They just know where to go as they are too wide, heading into 10. Lots now side by side with Bo as they go through the double left hand right handing 13. Now Trickster has a little bit of freedom up ahead of them in first place of TCR. Still too wide with Bo and Watts as well as the double too wide behind him with the GS car of Volcano. Now Killjoy trying to make his way through Watts. As they go into turn 16. Pits are almost open. These guys will not get the chance to pit this lap. The tail end of TCR may just fit that window in their laps. Oh, heavy into braking. Killjoy in the inside of turn 17. If he can get the power down, he can make the pass on Watts. Hits are now open for 
for the entire field rear of G, uh, TCR will have the luxury of pitting first get the pit out and done with now us running the series here in cosmetic not really a necessity to run pits but more of the overall cosmeticness of like just running a replica series. As well as just kind of mix up the field from time to time. Heavy braking is low in second. Takes the hairpin with Watts right behind him. Killjoy still trying to get around the field there. Was a volcano there drops back from this battle just a little bit. I'm not sure if that was an incident or driver error. Quite catch that. Civics and a Chevy Cruze, or is 11th, 12th, and 13th overall on track. Still rages on. It's Welder, Gilsinger, and Type in that order. Cars now diving into pit lane that looked like Bo making his pit stop as he goes through pit lane. But looks like Killjoy. Not Killjoy. Killjoy comes through with overall championship now exiting pit lane. Can you hear you, but I don't know what you're saying. Yeah. Unless there's blatantly no one coming, take the white line through. Though there's a white line on the track. Out of pit lane? Okay. Okay. Side on the back straight. We'll get by him. TCR obviously better under brakes and mid corner with that heavy Mustang. This trickster dives to the inside. Oh, as the TCR dives, a trickster dives into pit lane as Merginator is also in the pit lane. second in TCR, third and fourth overall at the moment as Killjoy is out in front of them, feeling in second place. Yes. 
LSEM Stripes way out in front on track right now. No one even in his zip code. He's drive his race. He's champ picking his way through the TCR leaders at the moment, making his way through. Getting the power down early really helps in that McLaren to get past these TCR cars. championship as he goes across the line. This plot stays out for one more lap there. Wide through one, tapping the grass as championship dives up the inside of Killjoy. stop whether or not that's going to hurt him or help him through uh, throughout the race here as it unfolds where he'll come out after his pit stop not quite sure Killjoy through 17. Who as uh, Stripes leaves the pit lane as Champ goes by, taking the lead once again. Stripes real close though, has a chance to come back with that pit stop done. Stop back in the midst of this TCR battle. What is uh, a battle between what will be the top three to four after Watts makes his final pit stop? GS cars have made their final pit stop. Nobody said anything. car yeah I 
Uh, I'm, no, I mean, unfortunately, no. Yeah. Individual battles are going on. Allow the faster GS cars to actually put that pace to the ground. I actually see some lap lap TCR cars as they start to get going. Some bumping and rubbing going on in the back of TCR as they head through, uh, oh! Two cars off, but they're still moving. Uh, they're still going. Uh, I watched it. I watched it happen. stop. The rest of TCR is coming through across the line. He is still in pit lane. He will lose a few positions as he's now leaving the pit road. Joining right behind what is Merginator and Killjoy. Still out in front of Trickster and the Audi. Battle between Merchinator and Killjoy here is still brewing. Just trying to survive with the TCR madness, what it is right now. Top TCR drivers are pretty quick, comparative to the TC or uh, the GS cars. Again, it will not be like this for the remainder of the season. TCR cars will take a power hit.
is the track from the first first position all the way back to the last so far. Almost hard to pick what battle to watch. Out on track. Bill Singer making up a few positions from just a moment ago. Now up into 10th. Battling with Gilsinger right now. Heavy under breaking into 10. The servers just can't handle these long races. Sucks. It sucks because the battles are so freaking good, too. I hate losing crowders. That's unfortunate. His cat turned off his Xbox. Oh no. Bo, did you teach him? Did you teach him to do that? Then he why? That sucks. He was doing great. He had a great battle with Killjoy there for a while.
level after the race. has not the best connection ever, so if there's a ripple with the internet or server or anything, it kind of goes haywire for him too. Is what it is, but that sucks. It sucks. It's always bad losing people. Link up, try to run down. I believe to be the, the Audi the Nighthawk type right up the road from them in the Honda. It's important to stay ahead of them. Lost two GS cars so far this evening. Mechanical issues and the other from what is family pet sabotage. Yeah, as <laughs> cat attached. No, I thought it was perfect. First and second of Champ and Stripes still rages on. Those two will probably fight till the end, no doubt. Alright, where pit stops rule coming out of the race. Looks like Nighthawk is catching type as well as the battle between Smokes and Country start to catch them on track as well. Kind of reeling each other in. Very heavy under braking. Went wide through 14. Buzz of the little four bangers heads down the back straight. Chip Cruise, Chip Cruise, Honda in order. Bumps of turn 17. Brutal in real life and brutal now in the virtual. Easier to get through, I believe, in the front wheel drive cars. So you got to wait for the front tires to actually turn the car. Different rear wheel drive sports cars of GS. Brakes as they tear through. Four.
Uh, yeah, at the moment it is looking like that. Sideline for turn one. Volcano and bow back and forth throughout the entire track. Last little stripe still running down champ. Obviously the cars have stronger strengths on opposite sides of the track. One will pull, the other will reel them back in on the other side of the track. Back to the four or five way battle here between TCR has what now is Nighthawk lost two positions to the two sister cars of Welder and Smokes. Type still up the road from them. And Honda, Chevy Cruise, Chevy Cruise, Audi, and Honda in that order for this battle from 7th all the way to 11th. until the final pit window is open. show here of the backpack, back of the pack battle of TCR. At this point, I think they're just having fun. TCR guys. TCRs, Volcano, and Bo as he now makes his way around. Out of the power section of the track into the twisty bits. That Mustang is a fat pig. He's trying to 
and stay in front of those two, yeah, is going to be a challenge in itself. Go uh, exiting turn one. Oh boy! Smokes gets a little sideways off into turn one. Still pointing in the right direction though, not losing a whole lot of ground. Trying to go three wide through the exit of one. left to catch them with those guys in front of him battling it out. I'm sure he'll run the line and reel them right back in. Oh, his Gill Singer goes what? Oh yeah, that's yellow, yellow, yellow. That's more than one car. Off on track. Yeah, it was like three cars at the hairpin. Can I get a timestamp for that? Alright, full course yellow, full course yellow, full course yellow. Guys, you guys can roll. He's rolling. He just needs to get batteries. That's what happened. Well, they're stopped under the mobile one, or the mobile one bridge. You guys can roll. I don't know why you guys stop, stop. They're coming. Oh, I know. You guys can go slow, slow, but don't just like stop. Believe me, I'm watching. It's nail biting. All of GS is now together. The podium for GS is all together. Uh, they're heading through turns 10. Double left-hander. They're going real, real slow, so... You guys just now going through the hairpin, and... I think Welder heading through turns 5 and 6 right now. through Water Tower 13. He's right behind you. As Volcano is destroying his tires. Yeah, he's with you guys now, so. 
back up to normal pace speed. You guys will be green this time by in a few laps. Pits will open. Champ, call uh, out loud for me when it does. Somebody. Bam. Everyone's here. Know what they're doing? He's yeah. He's I don't know what he's doing. Look at that sunrise. Cars heading through. Four. All right, full course. Green flag. Green, 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 green. Green flag. It's the communication difference between the both parties. That's why I want everyone in one party. GS makes a good, uh, good run on the start, getting a little bit of gap between them and the TCR cars, which is what they need to stay out of the riffraff, the battles of TCR. What is now going to be considered the war class. That's all it is, just outright war. Heavy under breaking into the hairpin between the top three GS cars. This champ meets Stripes and Killjoy. Smokes gaining a position as well. stop is available for all drivers. The process of mine. Well, of TCR. Goes a little wide and collects the wall a little bit, smashing the mobile one sign back on track. All is well there. Back. IRL Sebring Continental Tire Race. Watched an Audi. S3 eat the wall and cartwheel. Exact location where it went off just now. As Nighthawk goes a little wide, taking the access road. Losing a position, I believe. This is now Bow, Volcano, Trickster, Type. Way back. Type now up to fourth overall. Have Smokes, Nighthawk, Werb, and Gilsinger, then Welder bringing up the field and TCR. All of them super close together at the moment. On track, it is pretty much anybody's race at this point. They are really getting it. Some GS action as they're headed down the back straight. 
McLaren, BMW, Ford, in that order. As they head into 17, having on the brakes, not as graceful as the TCR cars, a little bit of sliding from that McLaren and the Ford. But exit ball, good there. with you because it's a nail biter some of these cars too wide three wide there for a split second through one cars going a little wide as a type rs now all over smokes as smokes makes the pass on the la honda world honda of type still all over the bumper with nighthawk close in pursuit to that battle of Volcano now taking the position over for Bo for leader in class. Trickster still in third. A little bit of space in between the front two and the rest of the classes. Type goes wide through the hairpin. Losing a little bit of speed, taking the access road. Comes out right behind Worm. Still hot on the heels of that full pack battle. Jump up the front of that front battle again. As Bo takes the long way around Volcano there, claiming the top spot back once again. I think they've flipped spots twice so far this lap. What's to say they're not going to do it one more time as Volcano looks up the inside through 15 on the outside of 16 as they head on towards the back straight. Both clipping all of the apex on the way out as their nose to tail. Chevy Cruze and Audi trying to use that draft to reel each other in as Trickster's right there behind them. Just on the edge of their draft reserve, side by side as Bo is on the inside line through 17, giving Volcano the long way out. Still side by side as they go across the line, Bo just ahead of Volcano as they go across the line. Trickster with a great show of this battle. Hope he's got popcorn. Bo and Volcano still side by side as what looks like Trickster now railing them in under breaking into turn three now into the fray himself. Pits are now open for both classes 30 minutes till the end of the race but you cannot finish the race in Now takes the second position away from Volcano as Trickster dives up on the inside of Bo as Volcano tries to follow Bo now on the outside, loses two positions in one corner as Bo is still hot on the heels of that Audi. It is now Chevy Cruze, or Audi, Audi, Chevy Cruze, the two Audi, the sister cars. Battling that Chevy Cruze through turn 10 they go. The double left-hander, 11 and 12. The 77 and the 77. 777? That's a mouthful. <laughs> what a great battle. This Trickster now has a little bit of gap in front of Volcano. As Bo and Volcano are still nose to tail as that gap pretty much just disappears under braking. As Smokes now is waiting patiently in the shadows of this battle to really jump on him if anything were to go wrong. As Bo now looking to the outside on the straight, diving in to get a little bit of arrow. Pull from Volcano down that back straight. Not really hitting crazy top speeds these cars, but the arrow is still a huge, huge benefactor down that back straight in these boxy little TCR cars. Hitting the bumps, pit window's open, who will dive in? 
And it is Bo. Bo takes the first plunge into pit lane, as well does a few other cars as Trickster and Volcano stay out. As the GS cars really putting down some pace to try and open the gap before they go in pit lane. A little bit of team orders going on between the top two TCR cars. As a great majority of the field now leaving pit lane, who is Bo, Smokes, Nighthawk, and Type already completing their pit sequence and can now finish the race. As they, uh, Trickster swap spots as they go through. The hairpin. Just trying to cap from the rest of the field so they have a little bit of a space advantage for. And they have to make their pit sequences as well. Jump on board, jump on them. Along with Bo as he is in the back, smokes the tailing close behind. now officially up into third place in TCR. Behind him is Gilsinger and Welder. In those top spots now into three packs. And middle group missing. As what looks like GS trying to use all that speed to continue their gap from the TCR class. This championship leads the field around with less than 30 minutes to go. Killjoy dives into pit lane himself. As he heads into pit lane, as does the top TCR guys of Trickster and Volcano. Herb as well jumps in pit lane. All of TCR has now done their pit stops. Where will Trickster and Volcano come out in accordance to Bo as Bo is the breaking into turn one. Volcano looks to have the overall position on Bo as Trickster falls in behind Bo. They're on cold tires. Not necessarily a huge factor in the TCR field, but the advantage is nice. So they're side by side, heading through five and six underneath the corner of the Chevrolet Bridge. Bow on the outside. Now falling in behind Volcano. Looking to the inside of the hairpin of Bow. Looks to the inside, doesn't quite get the power down in time. Falls in behind as Trickster is now right underneath the bumper of Volcano. stall as Stripes goes out in front of these guys. Will Champ be able to hit road in front of Killjoy who looks like he had a good pit stop, good field track in front of him. out of pit road in front of Killjoy. 
been run by him and his pit crew. Bo still leads TCR. As Volcano dives up the inside. A little bit of rubbing going on. Falls back in behind Bo as they head through. Four, five, and six complex down underneath the Corvette bridge. Volcano looking to the outside as Trickster follows pursuit of Bo, taking a position away from Volcano. They're all back and forth at this point. Looking up the inside. Trickster up the inside, leaving almost no room for Bo as Volcano goes through too. Once again, Bo losing up his two positions through the hairpin. Done once before, will be done again. Bo looking to the outside into turn 10. Trickster takes the lead. Trickster and Volcano side by, or uh, Bo and Volcano side by side. Smokes right there in the shadow of this battle. The more they keep battling, the more smokes will reel them in. Any mistakes made, he's there to pounce. Oh, his trickster goes a little wide through turn 13. Not losing much ground, though. Oh, his stripes now jumps into pit lane himself. A few laps ago, he was just behind championship on track. Looks like he's already rolling out of his pit stall as Champ exits uh, turn 17. Now across the line. This looks like Stripes won't quite make the pace. They'll come out side by side as Champ jump on that back real quick as it looks like championship will get the inside line. Heavy braking into turn 3. Oh, a little bit of tapping going on with the BMW on cold tires. McLaren still on warm tires after just pitting a few laps ago. And I'm still there in the shadow of that McLaren. Heavy under braking. Ticking down or too long before Stripes makes his move. Or the TCR guys once again as Bo back out in front of Volcano as Smokes is looking to the outside as Trickster still leads first in class. Smokes all over the back of Volcano now. As they head down towards turn 10. Great battle here for the front. Oh, his trickster makes a little mistake. It looks like Bo reels him in just a little bit through turn 10. Still 1, 2, 3, and 4 on class position. Just a little further back down the road is Nighthawk. A little further behind him is Tight. A great little battle between Orb. And Gilsinger there for the back of the pack. Welder. Yeah, that's what I figured. Ah, Forza sucks. Hey, you still you still acquired points though. You made it, so. I'm watching three wide. Is there? Oh, a little bit of bumping around three wide as they go across the line. I would not be able to tell you who. If that was the end, I would not be able to tell you who came in front as Trickster up the inside. Still three wide. Volcano on the outside. He's gonna run out of track space, cutting back across the track. Two. Falling behind Trickster and Bo as Volcano then dives to the inside once again on Bo. Doesn't quite get the job done as Smokes now looks to the outside of Volcano. A little bumping and rubbing between Volcano and Bo. 
as they head down towards the hairpin, Trickster, now with a little bit of breathing room, but not really. <laughs> as anything will continue to happen here in TCR class, as Smokes looks up the inside of turn 7 on Volca Volcano, still side by side as they're heading down towards turn 10. <laughs> they, these guys will not get away from each other. Heavy braking in turn 10. Volcano all over the back of Bo. Smoke's still there. This battle here is going to go all the way until the finish. I just wish in Forza that you could finish at the line for a more definitive finish instead of just having the timer run out. I mean, yeah, but then you can't totally get an accurate representation of time. Especially with four cautions that added. Cars head into turn 17. Volcano running the super wide line. Trying to carry as much speed as possible as Smokes takes the short shallow all the way up against the wall as Volcano pulls out in front of him. Trying the wide line again, heading down towards turn one. Side by side with Bo. What a great battle to watch here. As Champ still holding on to that first spot up in GS as Stripes is on the attack at this point. Just a few minutes to go as Volcano makes it past Bo. Anything will happen here. Bo Smoke, second, third, fourth. Who's going to acquire those top three steps in TCR? I would say who's going to be the top three in GS, but there's only three of them left. <laughs> yeah, this, the, the battle for TCR is nuts. Well, the, the lower class in the support series has always been some of the best racing. Our uh, ST races were some of the best races I've ever seen in Forza. Like, you'll have 10 car... Just 15 minutes remaining. No cautions left. Run what you brung. But play nice. <laughs> Heavy on the brakes. Smoke's looking to the inside. You see a little more track than you should. But... <laughs> Much. Nowhere to go on the outside though. As Trickster up the road, he's got that much space at this point. He's got a little bit of breathing room, can run his line. I have to look at the mirror that much. Kano leads the wide line out of turn 17. says uh, Trickster, or Volcano, stop sandbagging. <laughs> yeah. Now is Bo making a move on Volcano, heading into turn 10. Uh, side by side, Bo 
breaking a little later. Volcano still has that inside line though. Five seconds about to have a seizure. Yeah. This battle in TCR is so insane. Next track, I just had. Nose to tail, heading into turn 17. Low and Volcano. Woof. Oh, the Volcano getting real, real close to that wall. still in hot pursuit. That battle's gonna definitely come down to the wire for sure. Volcano pushing hard, going a little wide, tapping the grass. The X to five. Vu all over again. These guys are running the same line <laughs> lap after lap trying to do the same passes. Definitely trying to force a pass. Uh, side by side through 13-2. Bo with the outside line gets a better run. Oh, next track is actually Watkins Glen. Second. It will also be a two hour race. Too wide. <laughs> I don't know who he's too wide with, Bo or Smokes. That's how close they are. <laughs> Bo and Smokes, nose and tails. Volcano takes the inside line through turn 17. Yeah, I don't know what the fifth, uh, 554 million laps thing is, but it's a lot of laps. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's an eternity. I think Glenn will feel a little faster than Sebring. Same same two hour race with the same pit windows. Still <laughs> these guys will not get away from each other. I think you guys need counseling or something, because are attached to the hip. Oh yeah, no, I see it. It's been like that all race. Yeah, game of the year, they say. What, back in... down to the final minutes of this race. The TCR battle's still quite heated as Trickster is still in the lead. Volcano now passing Bo will definitely put a hurt on the gap between them. Bo in third on podium of the TCR with Smokes right there in their shadow. 
as far as GS, you still have Championship 4 up front with LSEM Stripes in hot pursuit of him as well as the Killjoy hanging in there for the remainder of this race. Putting a, a hurting on that Ford Mustang of his. As well as the rest of the TCR field. In fifth in class and eighth overall, you have Nighthawk. Ninth is Type RS. Seventh. Uh, ninth is Type. Tenth is Gilsinger. And eleventh is Verb. All positions on track. Just a few minutes to go. You are on board right now with the battle for the what is second in TCR between Volcano, Bow, and Smokes as they are now heading into turn three in the field. Yeah, the updates in this game have not been. Uh, some of them have been a step forward, some of them have been real head scratchers, but they're actually thinking about what they're doing now instead of the previous two games where they're kind of just, just gonna send it. Thanks for the, the follow, Watts. Glad it only took you till now to follow me. Watts, don't don't do what he said. That's champ. Now heading into turn one with BMW in hot pursuit, which is the couple seconds back on track, which doesn't look like much, but one, two seconds, possibly three there, heading through the infield. Yep, minutes remaining. Timestamp? Five minutes remaining of this race. It all comes down to this. That is pretty much two laps and some change for these guys. <laughs> yeah, all you controller, controller guys, the fingers are starting to starting to wear out on the wheel guys your arms are getting heavy <laughs> championship needs to go walk his dog so he says Go follow Championship's channel. That's what he says. Uh, his channel is uh, I'm Slow For You 101. <laughs> Just kidding. It's Championship 48. Champ what was it? What is it? It's White Light 48. What is it? Why oh, White Light 48 follow him he does a lot of a lot of racing on his channel if you're a fan as well as I think I've seen him play some Euro truck as well American truck whatever you're still a weirdo it's like Euro truck but in America 
<laughs> it was like it's like truck trucking simulator, like over the road. 18 wheeler. Uh -huh. Just a few minutes remaining. Championship still in the lead. With stripes are still on his heels. As now Trickster now has a partner on track, which I'm sure he's loving the the battle there, which is oh what happened? Trickster lost a position to Volcano. I was trying to be funny. I didn't pay attention to this battle at all. Oh god! Volcano now on the top step of the podium with Bo eating it out as what is smokes losing a little bit of ground to that battle over the last lap and a half. Everybody has made their pit stops, so they are all good there. Everybody will acquire points, including Welder, who made 75% of the race. Will acquire last points, last place points divided by two. So he's still in the championship running. Those your pole sitters will have. Bonus five points for their qualifying pole positions at this point. No, on top step and pole position. Stripes will walk away with a bonus five points from this race on him, so he will actually be in great shape for the race, and even though he's in second. Yeah, Watt says uh, Volcano finally dropped the sandbags. Team orders, they say. Oh, as he goes through the the grass a little bit, just a few. A few. We are down to second. Oh, as Bo was it? Bo makes a mistake and Smokes goes by for the podium. What happened there? Seconds to go. Oh, they're on it. Everybody will acquire their positions. What a great race. Watts, what what timestamp did you get out of the race? Oh, you were with Virginator, weren't you? You guys just missed out on points. No, I'll give you quarter points. I'll give you Emerginator quarter points, because you guys were here in plenty of time. How's that? Oh, that was amazing. Hey, can someone screenshot the race? If Did anybody get a screenshot of the, the final points or the final standings? Say cheese! Okay, I got it. You look like an ugly fish. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream here. Uh, next weekend is, I believe, our ALMS race. Uh, at here at Sebring. It is actually in the wet conditions. I don't know the ex exact wet conditions. That is for that race admin to uh, permit on race day. Um, okay. Thanks, champ. Uh, your overall leaders for this race is champ. And what is... Uh, volcano, congratulations, guys! Uh, you guys did a good race. Did anybody save uh, the replay by chance? Okay. Well, I have a replay. Yeah, I have the this. Uh, thanks for everybody for coming out and supporting the paddock race. This is round two of Sebring. Uh, we will have a little bit of a break with. 
uh, what is uh, the Michelin Pilot Series. The next race will be at Watkins Glen on June 2nd. It is a two-hour race with the same pit windows. Yes, so you got a little bit of time between there. Uh, next weekend is our ALMS race. We got P1 and GT class cars in the wet at Sebring. You will find all of that action right here on the Paddock Sim Racing Twitch channel. And all of the races do go up on our YouTube channel, which is also the Paddock Sim Racing with spaces. Uh, give us a little subscribe and like and follow. Do all that fancy stuff. We'll see you next weekend. Uh, have a good one. Love you guys.